So I've completed the defenses for this settlement. And we've got all the basics handled. You know, we've got water. We do have food, although I'm going to move the food somewhere. I don't exactly know where. But I'm ready to move on to the next two things. Well, there are three things, actually. One of them is to finish off the living quarters. I'm going to raise, raise it one more floor, at least, maybe even more, and have some you know, better furniture in there. I am also going to build a lot of shops and things in this area. I have a lot of settlers, and shops raise happiness. I actually took two right, ranks, as right. soon as I had yeah, the perks, the I took two Turn ranks back, in the... Oh, what is it? What is it called? B uh, cap Collector. I've got the first two ranks, which allowed me not just to get better prices when talking to vendors, but it also allowed me to build the highest level trader things. Thought it was about time. I've also realized I need to take one rank in Medic if I want to have a doctor in the in the base. So that's that's something else I'm going to do. And oh actually I've also got to place lights all around the place. So I've actually got four things to do. And then finally the fourth thing I'm going to do is sort out the crafting. Now I don't know whether I'm going to have another building just for crafting. Because I haven't really done that have I? But but I might do that. I might set up some sort of building over here with crafting stations. Or I might set it up on top of this place. I have not yet decided. However, before I do anything, because that's probably going to be the last thing I do, I want to test out the iBot thing. And the reason for that is I received a message telling me it doesn't do what I thought it might do, which was to, to allow you to have an iBot companion. And I'm being told this is not necessarily true. Okay. Probably needs power, doesn't it? However, before I give it power, I want to... Want to it requires six power. That's actually kind of a lot, isn't it? Okay. It has power. I bought use. Scan for components, scan for ammo, scan for explosives, turret control, spotlight control. Oh, right, so... It's actually a built-in computer. Choose resources to locate adhesive. Okay, can you find wood? So it just runs around finding material for me? Is that what it does? That's not quite what I had in mind at all. No. All right, fine. Waiting for iBot to locate nuclear material. Oh, so it's it's essentially a... It's essentially a scrapper that runs around finding materials. And that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Yes, it is. But it's not quite what I had in mind. I really did. I yes. really did envisage huh? having an iBot companion. I, I, I don't want to complain. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Do it. So he just runs out and he finds nuclear material. What I would really like to do is send him out to find bloody wood. Because, frankly, that's what I need. I've got quite a lot still. Here's the thing. I've got enough, probably, to finish that building. Crop's been growing I, I, have, I have spent God knows how long collecting gear and junk. And I'm probably going to use it all on this one settlement. Okay, so I can then... Excuse me, frog in my throat. I can then recall the iBot. He will then come... Running back with nuclear material? Or am I supposed to just leave him 
And when I come back, there'll be more nuclear material. That would probably be more useful. If I have to keep doing this each time, it's going to be fairly useless. Oh, there he is. Right, he's coming in. Out of curiosity, why does he have to use the stairs? Okay, he goes. Oh, does he just hover now? No? No? What? Are you going to dump things in there? No. Waiting for iBot to return. Uh... He's returned. Hack. I don't want to hack it. I don't want to hack it. Do I have to move this? Is it, uh, is it a little badly placed? Yes, it was badly placed. Okay, so he got... Oh, that looked painful. So, did he find anything? Scan for ammo, scan for explosives. Oh, I can send him out for, for, for anything. But... I can't send him out. For, really, for wood, of all things. Come on. Scan for ammo. Choose ammo type to locate. Fusion cores. Really? Mini nukes. But then where do I collect them? Where do I collect them? Interesting. Let's send him out for mini nukes. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have any mini nukes in my stations. And... I bought pod. Yeah, I, I, I can't use this and pick see what he's got. Do I get a message if he finds something? That would be kind of useful. But, if he finds a mini-nuke, then I should be able to come along to the workstation, probably. I'm assuming that's what happens. And at some point, there will be a mini-nuke in the works workstation. Then we'll know how it works. I can't believe it won't find wood, the one thing I really want. I could even point at some for him. Why can't I jump that? in that. And everything. Why can't I junk everything? Oh, really annoying. So I've had a night's sleep because I thought I'd like to do this building during the day. Only when I woke up, no one else was asleep in their beds. And I thought to myself, are they not able to sleep here for some reason? Is, is the fact that I built it on top of Water stopping them, but now they're all walking towards the beds, so it's not stopping them getting to the beds But none of them seem to want to use the beds. It's it's a little odd I'm wondering if building on top of water breaks them <laughs> Confuses the living daylights out of them or something now um I'm still not totally sure what to do first. I haven't decided how I'm going to do my little market. I think I think I'm going to have a market, and it's probably going to be as you come through this door here. That way when we get traders, you know, they can come in the tradesman's entrance, or perhaps they can come in this entrance, go through a line of shops, and then go out this way, which would be kind of cool. It's a shame I can't remove this. I was thinking of maybe having the trading thing over there, but I guess what you really want are traders to be near to the doors in case you get people coming in. I don't think that's actually how it's supposed to work. I think it's supposed to be the traders trade with the settlers. However, this area seems to be the most obvious to have a bunch of shops anyway, because everyone else is a bit... Well, not Another flat. Uh, if I put buildings here, they don't sit on the ground. So I would have to build Hopefully a concrete base. Same here as well. Which I can do. I can do. I, I'm not going to think about it too much yet. What I'm going to do is build 
the shops for now because I essentially want the benefits of the shops in advance. I, I want the, before I decide where I'm going to place them, I want to get the benefits. Now, which ones were, it was food and drink brings happiness as well. So that's a restaurant. So I get, what I do that is I get, I actually get the benefit of happiness. Um, is it, do, do I have to move you? Can I, can I move this entire thing? No, can you go, go over there a second? I just want to move this a little in this direction. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Food and drink. I can make a restaurant. You're walking in the middle of my restaurant. There. That I can assign someone and then we can get... I can probably sell food there for slightly more, but it increases happiness. Let's have a look. You're already assigned. You're unassigned. You don't look like a restauranteur. No, you don't. Who looks like a restauranteur? You do. Come with me. It's a bar. We have a bar. I like that idea. Okay. So we now have a bar. I'd like a clinic, but I need medic rank one. Clothing also also adds uh, some happiness. And I'm thinking of having an armor stand. Not because it does happiness, because it doesn't. Uh, what was that one? That's a normal trader. We've already got a trader. It doesn't, unfortunately. It does. It gives no happiness whatsoever. But maybe I can buy some useful armor. So you, you are going to be my armorer. And who else? I've got to have someone else who is unassigned. No, you're, you look assigned. Maybe I've actually got a bunch of assigned people. I've got 17 people here. I could have sworn I had more unassigned. Oh, no, I've got... You are. You're going to be my clothing. I've probably got these guys the wrong way around. You know what? You. Okay. You're on clothing because you look more like clothing. You, you can be the armor because you look more like... Well, you're well armored. So... I don't think they get... Let's have a look. I don't think they get <clears throat> stock straight away. You look like someone that needs... Oh, do they? Oh, well, let's have a sure. look. Let's have a look. Let's Take have a look. look. Here's what I've got. You've got 315. Now, I was hoping you'd have more to start with, but all right, she'll probably buy some stuff from me. Wasn't that... The... That is the expensive bar. You know what I call a good day? And... One that ends without an empty stomach. I'm hoping you've restocked, because I bought everything hey that was useful you from you. Let's, let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Um... Let's go back to the junk. Because it's... The reason I, I have her is for junk. No, unfortunately, everything here is stuff I've got tons of. As you can see, she's kind of out. I don't know how often they restock their gear. I really don't. Now... If I get the last rank of this, I can put 500 caps and raise the stores of buying capacity. That means from then on, I can sell them more and make more money. Anyway, I now have three shops plus an armor shop. Oh, God. What a hotkey fail. <clears throat> Need armor? Is that the highest rank? I've got armor? a few minutes to browse. I might have to right. check that. But let's have a look, first of all. Right, so he's got leather, sturdy armor, tough. Yeah, all right. So he's actually got some reasonable stuff I will buy and supply one of my settlers. What, what is it I'm buying from him? Okay, yeah. Unfortunately, I gave him the wrong armor thing. Let's, let's, uh... Did I give you the, the wrong clothing thing as well? I probably did, and I wasn't paying any attention. I should have gone for that one. I want the big one. Um, I'm going to scrap that for wood and bottle caps. Yeah, whatever. And you? I want you assigned okay. to there. And then I'm going to scrap that one. Again, bottle caps 250. All right, okay. And I'm going to put it back quickly. Or you can... Right, I'm going to put it over there. Okay, armor. And clothing. You, there. 
So, um, I was wondering why it wasn't quite as uh, quite as good stuff. Hopefully, they'll have better stuff now. And I don't need anything else. I don't think I need weapons. Clinic, I would like. I'm going to replace the armor. Before I leave, I'm going to replace the armor with a clinic if I can get the medic skill. Uh, which I probably can't. I, the, the only reason to have armor is, well, to get armor, obviously. Uh, I only need armor until I have all of my guys in maxed out stuff, which I will have eventually. How's that doing? Aren't you assigned? You're assigned to that. Right, they're also producing happiness. I can see the happiness going up. A clinic will improve that a little more. And then I will also have to add some other things. I don't... I haven't really delved much into the happiness side of things for my... Oh, God. That's not what I want to do. Uh, the happiness side of things with regards my settlers. So that will be something I'll have to take a look at later on. However, for now, I want to get on with... The house. That's what I've decided to do. I'm going to get the house done. Probably the crafting work thing done. Because then I'll clear everything out. Get the settlers assigned. And then start thinking how to make the farming look prettier. Because it looks a bit messy at the moment. Yes, it does. And, and then I have to start thinking about what the hell to do with this area. But maybe that's, you know, basketball court, that type of thing. Razor. Because, of course, I've never done anything like that before. Okay. So, what am I going to do with this? I think the first thing I'm going to do is remove this and add a new stairway. Because I am... I am, of course, going to want another floor. I don't think I'm going to make it a floor with a roof, if you know what I mean. I think I'm actually going to make it, well, like this is now, a place where they can come and get some sun and just sit and relax. I'm going to put some deck chairs. But this is where most of the beds are going to be, but not all. Not all, because I'm going to need more beds than I've got. So I'm going to leave some beds down here. And I will put some partitions for privacy. Because I, I can have I can use some in inner walls. These. Let's have a look. These kind of things I can actually put like this, you see. And then leave some beds here, some beds here. I'm going to need that. And then have um I want an indoor living space, you see. That's what I want. And I thought I would... Yeah, I want it down below because bed should be upstairs. I may make this completely nothing but living space. You know, put a small kitchen, put that type of thing. But I'm then going to need two floors for beds minimum. Which I may... I may do. I haven't ruled out yet. I may do. That is the upper floors. And which way are we having these? Same as this one. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. I decided it wasn't going to be good if I had the, um, I don't know, these flares overhanging the other flares. But I had one going over here, the doorway, and I think that looks pretty cool. And I have one on the other side. Now, this means there's a double... Oh, no, it's flat on this side, isn't it? Of course it is. Of course it is. So it actually works. Oh, maybe I could have had an overhang on the entire side there. No, you see, what I'm thinking here, my original thought was to have this floor, have the beds here, and then up here put a fence and have a roof patio thing. But I think I'm having another floor, but I don't quite know how I want to do it. Because my next thought was to actually have this part as a patio. Like, put a fence here and maybe some chairs, and then you could sit out and look over the settlement, and then have this as a building. That's what I was thinking. So I can have some more beds up here, but also a little open area. 
But then I was thinking what I want to do is have it the other way round, have um, the patio here looking over the river. Although, honestly, a radioactive river is probably not... Yeah, you don't want to... No, 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 no. I'll have it facing this way. But that means I'm not going to... The other thing to do is I could just have another floor and another rooftop thing, but I don't think so. So I think what I think what I'm going to go for here is something along the lines of should I have one with yeah I think we're gonna have one with the with the drapes and one like this because then. From the back, we've got staggered overhang. Staggered overhang. And what I mean by that is... We've got one overhang there, and then another overhang there. So there's sort of space between them. Which I think kind of works. Almost like little balconies. Now, I'm not going to have the same at the front, because... Yeah, do I want side overhangs? Here's the thing. I don't know what you call them. These bits here, the flares, the shack, not the shack wall corner, but this thing, the shack wall and roof. I could have another overhang here and it wouldn't look too bad actually. It wouldn't, would it? Maybe not all the way. Okay, that's not quite. I'll try that, I think. I think I'll try that. And the reason I like that is it gives windows and a slight well, more of a feeling of space. Now, do I want it completely overhanging? Or do I want it just... See, I don't... The thing is, is having it completely overhanging, I think, looks a little... On this side, because of the one below. I think that looks a little... Too much. i tell you what, easiest thing to do. Why don't I... Are you going to click on? Click it on. And see what it looks like with just one. Like that. Will it look a little... See, one, instead of having them all the way along like that, just having one overhanging looks more like a little balcony, doesn't it? It looks more like a little balcony. And I think that will kind of work. Whereas if I have it all the way around, again, it, it kind of... If you look in here, it is very, very open indeed, which might not be as good for the bedroom. This looks better for the bedroom because it's got a couple of open areas either side. So, we have one here, one here, one here. That might actually be too much. That might actually be too much. But let's try that and then also... I have to remember to. I don't like those. Remember to put the uh, side pieces in. Like so. I'm actually running not low on steel, but you can see even the steel is going down. I think by the time I finish here, I'm going to be completely out of certain materials. I should really make another trip to Diamond City and get some wood. And I need to set up more shops around the various settlements because I think if, if if I get all these good shops set up, as I travel settlement to settlement, I'll pick up more material. I think. I think that's what we're going to do. Right, um, and for walls, there is this shack outer wall which uses more steel. I like using some variety, you see. Um... But it's not always easy. Some of them are a little... Mm, for example, this one. It's not bad, I suppose, but it's a little... Uh, well, well, it's filled with bloody holes, isn't it, really? Actually, then... I don't know, actually, should we have... All the holes this side? on that side. Hmm. Anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. Something like this. Then actually having a roof across. I've not 
built many things with roofs, actually. So, should I? I don't know. Yeah, that's that's the thing, isn't it? Not having built many roofs. Oh, nah. A little too heavy looking, that isn't it? That that looks better, maybe, or even well, that's corrugated iron. Let's have a look. At that. I mean, how does it look with just? I don't want to use too much. Oh, I don't have a lot of cloth actually. Actually, cloth is probably... I've got very little cloth. I should probably start looking for cloth while I'm out as well. Um, Alright, then... I'm thinking the thinnest one. Not not that, that's too... Yeah, let's, let's try this. Oh. Hmm, I actually think perhaps... Staggering them. Making them... Slightly different is the way to do this. Because that hole there is not brilliant, is it? Eh, I don't think I actually want that kind of a roof. You see, ordinarily I've been having these uh, wooden floors as roofs, which actually look a little more... Okay, let's... I might actually replace those. Um, we need something that's thicker, I think. Shack roof. No, we, we don't want anything that's... We need flat ones, but I'd like to see it. Is that... Oh, actually, you know what? I think I actually prefer those roofs. They... I might actually junk those. I might junk those because I need the materials. But um, oh no, that uh, that's that. Yeah, no, I do prefer those. But I prefer those because they've got no holes. All right, we're going to do it that way. Stuff in the place. Um, but then I'm going to need some straight ones. And the only straight ones I've got are these flat ones. I was hoping for something a bit more... Um, I don't know how to put this. Substantial? See, that doesn't work purely because... It, uh... Well, maybe it does, actually. I've already made some of these, so let's, let's put those in. You see... That matches, but then this doesn't. I'd have to switch those around. But I could do something along the lines of... Have the thin roofs. That's a thick roof. Like this here. But I'm not that keen on that. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm being daft. I'm being daft. I'm being daft. Yes, I am. Um, I can I can slant them that way. Of course I can. I can slant them. Let's put that one like that. And then what else have I got made? I've got some other. Let's make that snow. That what? Right, one. And then snap it into place like. That, can't I? So that the... Uh, oh, can I do some hopping here? So that the slant is... Probably be easier to see from up there. Like that. The slope of the roof. Does that work? Does it work? Or does the, the overhang look too heavy? I know it looks a little back heavy at the moment, but don't worry about that. I think that kind of works. Right, and then... Obviously, we're having it completely open like that. And it needs to look like it could be supported. So we're going to need... Is it going to let me do this? Can I click on... Oh, I don't think I can actually get the... Um... Oh, right, I wonder how I could do that. 
I don't think I can. No, I, I say, so for example, I could move this out of the way and put it on, but then I don't think I can put this back. So, for example, if I, if I put that on now, that will actually go in. I probably wouldn't have it there anyway. I'd probably have it in the middle here. I'd come up here and then go in. Um, but now, the floor piece, shack floors, it was this. No, it, it won't go in. Out of curiosity. Wooden roof. I can actually put a wooden roof underneath there. And then can I put a wooden floor? Oh, I can. I can just not those floors, but I can put... You're not going to let me put that one then, are you? No, you're not. Or that one. But you're going to let me put that one on. Oh, no. I can only put it right in front of the door. No, that's not going to work. Okay. I, um, it's just an idea. Just an idea. I will put the big thing back. So the the alternative I was going to go for was the small walls. It's like this. And I'm just gonna do it. Uh, oh, actually that's the point. How could I do that? I can't. Because of that. I could move the stairway. Yes, I could. So, for example, have the stairway. No, uh, no, 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 no. Oh God! Oh, of course, I need to do the floor as well. My bad. My bad. My bad. Yeah, like that, and then we're gonna need that piece of floor in there, and. Hello. Please snap into... Is that not... Why is that not snapping into place? Right, I'll figure that one in. A s okay, right. Uh, might be best if I turn all of these pieces to match. They're not going to match the floor below, but they'll match that, which I think is much more important. Yes, I do. Okay, that could work. Then you would come up here. There would be more beds. I kind of would like a doorway here. I have to be completely honest. I would like a doorway there. And it's not going to let me do that and keep this floor, which is really unfortunate. So how else could we do this? The... There are no half spaces. No. Yeah, that is a little unfortunate. But I can't... I can't do that. See, currently what we've got, then, is... Don't care much for good neighbor. Yeah, the top area looking a little like this. It's looking a little... I don't know, I wouldn't say messy, but... I wanted a doorway there. It's looking like it's got quite a lot of space on it. And then... Oh, God. It's going to look kind of like... I, I wouldn't say the back of a ship, but it's got that kind of heavy end at the at the sea edge. So, yeah. Um, and then I was going to use these. Like so. Oh, God. And that would mean we had a sun patio, you see? So we'd have some, some raining beds in here, but you could go out and have some seats. I really would like a doorway there. But the only way to do that is pretty much to... What wooden roof, do you think? 
It's not, I don't think it's the roof's fault. Um, and I don't think metal doors will, uh, will help. You know what, I'm going to try it though. I am going to try it just in case it allows me to do this because stranger things have happened, right? Stranger things. Yeah, it's not going to because of the door. I, I, I didn't suspect it would. See, because you can fit those in like that. Mm. Yeah, that's just, just, yeah. Then the other option is... Wooden floor underneath. Then... Doorway. And then these. Um, one there, one there. Oh, you're not going to let me do it? Okay, none there. So, I mean, I could have that. That, that would... Technically work, you know, technically, that's not a fail. Actually, it kind of is, but we've got a doorway then, you see. And I think at some level, the doorway looks... See, the building would look more even if I actually had the um, top deck coming out here, wouldn't it? But then you wouldn't have that lovely... Should I get rid of the side windows? Then it wouldn't look quite as... It looks a little... fat. <laughs> At the top. Yes, it does. Like those. Oh. Those, they just, they feel a little fat. Um, and then replace it with... That one, maybe? Uh, no, we want the side pieces, which would be something like that. And let's just do the same on that. Okay, no, no. What are we doing? Come on. Thank you. Now, that gives us less light in here, but I was planning on having beds again. We still have the overhangs at the back. Which I think is not too shabby. Having the multiple overhangs. But from this side, it, it looks better, doesn't it? It looks neater. It, lo <laughs> it looks more st structurally sound, as sound as it's going to look. It looks like nighttime is coming. I I'm going to sleep. I prefer doing this during the day, and I'm pretty sure you guys prefer looking at this during the day. But you see, this, I like that. I like this doorway. I just do not like this. I'm not... I'm not enjoying that. See, I can do that. It's just not right, is it? Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. If I, if I... No, it's, it's, the, the problem here, I think, is it's not going to let me do... Oh, it will. It will let me place them. Th ah, you see what we can do there, don't you? All right, then what I need to do is use the roof pieces. Because it's. I think it's always good to have, like, an under roof. Uh, I think you understand what I'm getting at. I need to rotate that so it's the same way as this one. Yes. So we've, we've actually got a sort of a metallic structure at roof, and then on top of that I do these, which apparently will work. It actually allows those to go on. Oh, I could have them overhanging. The, that's the question. Do I want them? I'm using these, but do I need to? Is, was it just the... I mean... What would happen if I went for the smaller piece now? Will it fit now? No, it won't, will it? it it's, it's got... Even though that's... Pretty much the same as that. It's got to be... Alright. 
Then what I have to decide is, am I going to have it hanging over like that? Oh. Um, I also need... See, what we really need is a doorway piece that's thin like this. That's what we actually need. Yes, we do. Um, but we don't have it because this hangs out. All right. So I can use those. Okay. C come. Thank you. Now it's going to... I have to put them up before I put these up. I had a night's sleep so that I could Fire check out what it looked like. And it's not bad, although I think the things at the front are a little too... I don't know what the word is. Solid. Um, these. They're a little solid, so I'm kind of thinking what I want to do is replace them with something a little less... I mean, I've got ones that are more... See-through, for example. This. I think it's just... Is it going to let me do that? You're not going to let me do that, are you? Of course you're not going to let me do that. Why would you let me do that? That would be simple, wouldn't it? You know, and we wouldn't want simple, would we? No. A little more spacious? But is that right? Should it be spacious? Uh, spacious. Um, airy. I like it, though. I do. I like it. Um, now will it let me put the bloody floor back? What do you bet? No, and I have to start that again. Oh, no. Okay, no, no, that's okay. Now, the only other downside is there is a small gap here because I decided to extend it out a bit. You can't quite get out, though, so it is safe. It is safe. But we now have... I don't know what you'd call it. Let's have a look how the other one looks. So I've now got two floors for bedrooms, one floor for a kind of living area. I'm going to put a door there. Yeah, you see what I mean? It just looks a bit more... Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. What I need is window yeah. pieces. That's what we need, window pieces. But that's it. That's not too bad, is it? That's that's an actual living building for them to use, sleeping in. <laughs> I've seen much worse buildings in the uh, in the wasteland. Yes, I have. I've built much worse, but it's big. I think I can get 20 plus um, beds in there. Because we're actually getting close to the limit now. We've got 20 beds and 17 people. So, yeah. Um, this is going to make them miserable, but I think it's just easier to store the beds and then move upstairs. Now, this probably means I don't need these walls then partitioning it. I think I can get all the beds upstairs, but I'm going to put some partitions upstairs as well. I think. To give some some feeling of privacy. Which I think would be nice. I also, I always like the idea of having my own room in these settlements. My own room, but I can't think where I'm going to have that. Maybe I'll have it apart from them. But I'll have to put it in such a way that they can't bloody well get to it. Three beds. And they're all in there. Yes. Okay, well then, let me just put the beds... So, we've got three beds in here that I cannot move, which is a real shame. Won't let me, won't let me move them, won't let me put them, or put them in the uh, workshop, or junk them. It's a real shame. But I've got 24 beds now, and that is possibly going to be needed because when I check the workshops, some of these places have got, like, um, wait a minute. 22, 6, 17, um, 16, where's the castle should have it, 25. Now, a lot of those are because I've sent my people back there. And from what I can gather, it is going to be 21 maximum people, depending on the moment. If I take drugs, technically speaking, I will get more people coming into my, oh God, into my settlements very yes. briefly so i want to have about 24 beds in every single one except the castle where i need to have 
more. I better get that sorted, actually. Just to be on, on the safe side. So I've got 24, I think. Yes, I have. The downstairs area is now completely clear, so I'm going to make a little kitchen area. I've got... I've, got, I've decided to have this as a landing. I'm going to put some decorations up. I've got some beds here. A little bit of privacy. Not much, but, you know, a little cut off so it doesn't feel like you're all in one big room, which I think is a bit nicer. Uh, same up here. You know, you, you walk into a main bunk area, but there is another area around here. No private rooms. Maybe we should, maybe we should make conjugal visit rooms, you know, to go with the theme of the... Uh, prison. I haven't wired the place up yet at all. In fact, actually, I think what I'm probably going to do... Can I pick that up? Oh, oh god. Auto hotkey fail. Don't fail me now. Are you gonna... Right, let's have a listen. run through here and see what it does. I could put that pretty much on top of the bloody roof, couldn't I? Or, or even there, although I suspect I actually would rather have it on the roof. And then I can probably wire that all the way to there. It will actually reach. Um, I think it would be better off sort of, you know... Okay, that's not too bad. I'd like to see what it looks like. Though. Is it floating? Maybe a little. Um, let's have a think. Where are you? You'll do. Thank you. So that's probably. Oh uh, yeah, you see, it's just it's a bit. And also, it's a bit. It's a bit on the overkill side, isn't it? What I was originally thinking for electricity, because I like to have a kind of pylon system going around the outside. Please tell me that's not... God, it is. It's floating. Right, how about... Is there anywhere I can place it where it... Ah, there. Okay, that's not so bad, actually. I can I can place it... Oh, no, it's not going to actually let me place the damned thing. All right, well, I don't really have a lot of choice. It would seem that everything's floating here. And then have another one this side. And then I can join that to. Th okay, don't. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go the long way. Unfortunately, it's not gonna let me <laughs> run that out. Please, please tell me I can. Like so. I think that kind of a connection just looks better when it's over a house anyway than the great big pylon. Great big pylon looks like it's going to collapse through the ground. And I don't, as I said, I don't actually need to connect it across because I've got a full circuit. But I like it for completionist's sake. And of course I need to take these wires down into the house somewhere. Oh, I was open to drop so I could just not take damage, but I can't jump, you see. I can't press space now because I've got the wire. It's kind of a pain, but there you go. Okay. That is not so bad, is it? Oh. Excuse me. Um, not so bad if you don't account for the uh, magically floating... I don't know, just... Stairs. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this from the outside. I think that's pretty damned comfortable sleeping arrangements. They've got space. They've got room. I'm going to add things like little tables. I'm going to add some decorations. And I'm even going to add foot lockers for them. That is probably going to be my most pleasant bunkhouse ever. I will put some furniture for them to sit on outside there. And I'm going to put kitchen utensils in here. Plus I have tables, maybe a sofa. Sofa, radio, television. That's the kind of 
communal room. There'll have to be some room rules on uh, how late yes. they can have the TV on, obviously. Can't let them misbehave. But apart from that, that is done. Now, I think before I beautify that place yeah. up and make it pleasant and lovely, I should do something with this. I'm thinking of making this my crafting building as well as my power building. But I haven't totally decided. I've got to find a good place for this as well. And I do want... I want to move the food. I think I'm going to move some of the food there. Some of the food there. I'm going to move it to different places. And then what I was actually thinking was having a recreation area here. Near the market. I really do need to fix the market stalls. We're not having floaty things. No, we're not. So we're going to have a market here. And then maybe a play area for the kids. Basketball. You know, Why can't I get rid of that junk? Oh, and I'm the type of guy who will never settle down. Where pretty girls are.